join our friend and semi-hero Roger Wilco as he rockets back toward his home planet Xenon, which he hasn't seen since Space Quest II. Having successfully rescued those two ingrates from Andromeda, he decides a pit stop on Magmetheus is in order. During the descent to this cosmic canteen, he is unaware of the interest that has been generated regarding his fate. Confirmation of his position, Master. Off oh, to Magnetheus with you then. It is time for Wilco to meet the fate which I have crafted for him. As our story begins, we find the aluminum mallard parked outside a seedy spaceport bar. Join Roger as he relates one of his greatly exaggerated tales of adventure. The aliens are only too happy to listen, as long as Roger is buying. See, there is this deadly root monster, a ferocious swamp creature, and a Labion terror beast to contend with. Then I had to outsmart another of Volhall's gorillas and steal the shuttle so I could. Are you Roger Wilco? Uh, yeah. Please come with me. Hello, Roger Wilco. Surprised to see an old friend? You have no idea how special this moment is for me. This is no chance encounter, I can assure you. I have this one loose end to tie up before I begin my reign as the supreme being of all that exists. I do not like to lose. You are a blemish on what would otherwise be a perfect record of domination, terror, and invisibility. Besides, I'm still a bit nipped about that asteroid deal in Space Quest 2. Anyway, to relieve the pain of my humiliation and prevent you from being a pain in my future, you must die. It's been nice seeing you one last time. Then, do the dirty deed. You go left and split them up. Mr. Wilco, follow me and do exactly as I say. Let's move! Hey, I want to know what the... Listen, I can't explain it all to you now. They've got a beat on our coordinates. We've got to move fast. We gotta do this fast. Shield your eyes! Jump into the time rip! Do it now! You've got to! If I take the time to explain, we're both parking lot pizza! You'll understand soon. Now where am I? You wonder aloud to non-existent auditory organs. This place sure looks homey. Hey, wait, this looks just like Xenon. It is Xenon. It's, it's, it's really a pile. Along with the changes induced by an armed conflict, the city looks different, more modern with a heavy dash of post-disaster seasoning. Casually glancing at the status line, you happen to notice that you're in Space Quest 12.
What's happened? Who was that guy with the overdeveloped hair dryer? Why did you let yourself be talked into jumping into some strange shimmering hole? Why are you talking to yourself? These incredibly intriguing questions will quickly be forgotten with barely an electron stirred in that well-armored orb atop your shoulders. After taking a quick look around to reassure yourself that the place is as dead as it looks, you snitch the Pocket Pal laptop. You take the small, frayed, useless-looking length of rope. glad you could play Space Quest 4. As usual, you've been a real pant load. Are you sure you want to restart?